Okay, so today uh, I've got the loader stuff kind of done, frying GUI and all that jazz for WSI. So what I want to do is one of the kind of targets I have is to reduce my reliance on C++ inheritance. And one of the larger uses, like I don't use it that much, but I want to get rid of the few instances I do have because I keep running into issues where I'm exporting, I, I have to export the entire class, which means also exporting like the types underneath it, like standard mutex and standard vector, which throws a lot of issues on, on Windows with DLLs, since like they can change from version to version depending on which one it was linked against. So I want to try to reduce or remove my reliance on C++ inheritance almost entirely if I can. And in order to do that, well, I need to start somewhere. So where I'm going to start is the case where I actually I use it the most. Uh, well, that's fresh in my mind, which is I am GUI. So when creating a, when adding state to be rendered, I provide this uh, GUI base type, which is this, which is just you know a base, you know, an empty base class, which just has a couple of virtual functions, which can be overridden. Do I really need this? The answer is not really. It's kind of there as a, like a, as a bit of structure for something to do down the line, but do I really need it? The answer is no, not really, like at all. And what I've kind of, what I kind of figure is I, I want to try something else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to rip all these uh, uses out, and I'm going to replace it with just a classic like uh, pointer and a couple of function point, you know, three pointers: pointer for the context and a couple of pointers for uh, the functions. Now I'm going to try to collapse these three, these like main menu type functions, down to one, and try to have like some other method for choosing. And then a custom UI will still have to be a separate function. That's something that happens after the main menu stuff. Yeah. So yeah. And that should also uh, help me with uh, deciding on how to implement separators and menu items. Because, okay, if I was to run this right now, what do I have? All right, I got file, view. Got nothing in there. I got this, but I really wanted to add like separators between these. But currently, I don't really have any method of determining when I should insert separators. So after this, I should. So, to start with, what do I need in the state in the in this thing? Um, I need a new type of some sort. I need a new struct type. Uh, that is um, display data, render data, GUI data, something like that. We'll have a void star, which is like, you know, P context. We'll have two functions. Still returning nothing. Uh, P menu. item function pointer and what what does it take in it's going to have to take in something if i'm collapsing these three things down hmm. yeah if i'm collapsing these three things down mostly i'm collapsing these two and then adding something here the problem with custom main menus i can't really you reuse the same menu i can't add like a view well i have file and view but if i add like a terminal I can't then just add arbitrary things to be like one main entire main menu per thing, which isn't really going to work out. So what I'll probably want to do is something along the lines of char const star. It takes in a, a string, which would be like the name of the item, file, view, edit, whatever. Um, or the others, 
and that'll determine which one it's going to go into. And would I need anything else like that? I don't think so. Just that. And then this function can then act like a switch internally, which will then determine like which you know object sub function or that go it goes into. So this would be like yeah. And then then we still need to have the you know the custom UI, the other UI stuff. There's nothing like that. Yes. So For the vector, we'll have GUI data. It's just a set, it'll be actually local, so it's not a pointer to go even further elsewhere. It'll be kind of here, then it goes elsewhere, elsewhere so yeah. Graphical user interface data. Yeah, and then I need some functions to go along with it, so like that. Add UI void star p context. Function pointer one and function pointer two. That that's equals this. Ah, there we go. That'll work. Using p function function pointer for img render custom ui star that. Okay, we'll do that here. this makes it it cleans it up a little bit So do the same thing for removals. Oh, I'd also have to yeah pass in the item itself.
rendering custom UI elements. Okay, we've got that. Pass that in. Uh, adds the rendering of a specific UI user interface, graphical user interface. Mm -hmm. Truth added, false if it's null pointer or already added. Um, because of course if all three are null pointer, we're not passing anything in. There's nothing to add. Get out of here. All right, so let's go to state CPP. Mm -hmm. So much like this, what is it? If the context if that p main menu function that that and that thank you and that. Do this. Go through all the M GUI data that we already have. We locked it, we're checking the GUI data. that return false otherwise if you reach to the end then we can add it so place back a new thing which is the GUI data which is Now, is it, does it take a little bit more space? Yeah, technically it takes triple the space, memory space. Um, but like, this is such a small amount, I can't really be bothered. It, it, it's, it's an inconsequential amount of memory to make this happen. True, and then we wanna remove. If we find it,
if we found it, then we just mgreed data dot erase iterator and return. That's it, right? Yeah. We scope lock and all that stuff. Okay. Good, good. Um, okay. How do we go through this? Because this is this is new. I need oh, I need to somehow figure out what kind of main menu uh, categories there are. That's a fun little one. Hmm. So I need to register them. Somehow. This is going to be some new stuff. This was new stuff I was going to have to have one way or the other for custom UI anyways. So I need... Uh, do I want a, like a map? I mean, again, this is I'm this is I'm GUI. This is only ever really going to be used in development context. So you have more RAM. I'm not as concerned about performance here. The standard map does sound or unordered map. I will just go with include unordered map. That always seems to be a bit faster. and a size T and main menu counts so how, how will this work Not entirely. Okay, we'll have some that are baked in, like file, like view, like probably help and edit. File, edit, view, help. Not sure about selection. That's a bit weird. Uh, size T, file count. That starts at zero. Size T, M. Edit menu count that is zero and size t and view menu count because either I put them here or they'll be part of the unordered map and I'd rather save a little bit of these are almost m help menu count zero lovely like that okay these all start with zero. What I need to do then is I need to add UI and I need to have like a char const star star pp main menu M menu content menu <sighs> menu set and then I need a size T like that Set of strings that that what mm. 
menu. Underscore, something like that. Number of in that not great, but these don't really matter if these don't matter if these don't matter, so. UI, I've got to add those. Strings that just four, two. And then that'll, that'll increment them, that'll decrement them. We add those. And then we have this little fun thing. I need to go through them. So four size t i equals zero i is less than t, uh, menu set count plus plus i. Going through each of them. Or that it, that it can. Okay, that's interesting. One thing I can do is actually out of this return if I actually rendered anything. Because if I don't render anything, then don't add a separator after it. Mm hmm. And that automatically goes down to all of them, so that's fine. If string view, if that. equals equals file then and the file menu count plus plus I mean, do I really need to know these? Realistically, no. I'll go through them anyways. I don't really need to know the counts, do I? The answer is no. Or menu.
let's continue. count them otherwise for the others we will so I need to like how does unordered map work especially with a with a that I don't know if I can even use a string view or I actually have to go with a standard string for this um, How do I find? Is there a find at? No. Search iterator equals m GUI um, menu counts. Find. Uh, that's going to require just a plain old string, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Tried to save a little bit. It's not happening. I don't really know how it'll come out. If it'll, like, the ordering and stuff, if it'll really matter too much. In fact, why do even a map? I could just do a vector, right? In the order that it was added in. And then it'll be ch cheaper. But just a little bit. Small tuple of those two, right? Get the first item of iterator. equals equals menu string so then it actually might work with that Increment that by one Then we want to add it to the end. And main menu counts dot place back the tuple. It will be a standard string of pt menu. Okay, again, it's a string. Just just do a string. I keep trying to make things easier, but it's not going to work. Menu string and count of one. Uh, 
and break out. Okay. Then I need to do kind of the same thing going out the other way. on that. Okay, if that, yeah, then we minus minus. If it didn't have it, then it doesn't really matter, does it? Break out. Then return back out. Once we're done with all these. Break out of that. So, yeah. Okay, back down to here. So we're going to go through a bunch of items. We are first going to go through menu, the edit, the view. Oh, no, that's why I wanted the counts. I'll, if, if I don't have anything in the menu, then there's no point to rendering anything in there. Well, that's going to backfire hard on me, isn't it? Um, we're not going to do that. That doesn't even exist. Data. We're going to go through four. Uh, no, we're going through each of them. So we call if iterator dot p that null pointer. Then we're going to go ahead and pass it. We're going. We're going to do it. It dot p main. Peak context, and we're going to give it file. Do the same thing here for edit. Get rid of that. That doesn't work here. View, and we do the same thing here for the help menu. We're going to go through custom menu. So what we're going to do is, yeah, it doesn't really work very well here. Const and go through the M. We have synchronized this, right? We're not, yeah, we locked it. Three of those. I need to change that up so I can erase it. Maybe not. Maybe do I like to bother erasing it? Not really. I'm not going to bother. Not right now. 
if right is greater than zero, then we're going to go ahead and do this. If this and it's part of standard get zero iterator dot data like that Here, so it'll be this and that. It's going to be passed in IP context with the string of the main of the menu we're working through. Okay. I'm pretty sure I don't actually use this anywhere. Yes, I do in one thing. Oh no, just here. I literally just right here. So if that's the case, this is supposed to return a boolean. String is And then, oh yeah, after this, after all this, we'll have to actually go through and render everything else. So for and that data, p gusto function, which is that stuff again. Okay. Again, no doubt there'll be some replication, but it will be so minor that I don't really care. I think. All right. So that just means I gotta start Implementing something. Something's got to change over to use this right now. Which will be... Okay, that's actually... I'm going to reform. Uh, I have some prime candidates down here somewhere. Hmm. We'll start with termination. Very easy. There's basically nothing here at all. So do I want to register this or what? How, how do I want to register? Hmm. What I can do... Is...
<sighs> yeah, how do I how do I uh, register this? Register. Oh, I am GUI. State. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Not entire. Okay. I. Th th this needs a bit more work. Not entirely happy with this one. This is a red. Oh, right. Reg like a register. Um. Register UI, P state, okay, that's great. Let's kind of leave. Let's kind of add this here, shall we? So we want to return. Key state. We're going to like add UI. It's going to be adding this uh, and termination. No, 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 no. I need a new function somewhere else around here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Hmm. And a new private function. Taking the context and taking that. We also need that. Okay, let's do this. It takes in. The address of this, no pointer, uh, file one, like that. No known thing from that to bool void star const char star. Okay. What? Candidate function not viable. No known conversion from bool function pointer void const star star to the same damn thing. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Is this supposed to be like a static thing? Oh yeah, okay. Hmm. 
P object, I don't know. that then we're running p object terminate file name menu that right now turn true otherwise we're turning false okay we're still trying to figure out this it's the the void star star right this dot data this dot size okay that works now if it equals that then we do that otherwise yeah 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 menu x item exit okay going back to the application where's ui stuff initialize Be up here somewhere. Editor mode. Here we go. Mm -hmm. File termination. I think that's it. Okay, change that out to be something else. I want to do file termination dot. Just a UI with and do state like that. Mm, all right. Okay. Okay, one thing I can do is get rid of that, get rid of that, simplifies it a little bit, no final, whoops. Okay, this can be almost an H. Bool uh, register. Where 
Let's just change uh, the file IMD termination. We also want to do the same thing for deregister. We don't really need that. Kind of basically do this. Kind of hide all of that and turn that into a struct or class. Class that, don't really need it here. Mm. Okay. One thing we will have that's public is this. And the menu is equals that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do, we need to include Something like this for on GUI state. So this replaces this. We're gonna have render got going on here add and move cannot return oh yeah like that we get rid of all these data that equals uh, okay clear out the rest of that mm -hmm. come back to the application all right do that that and instead of that we're going to do
let's public make some things a bit more public yeah. hmm okay Okay, that looks like it could work altogether. Now, am I particularly, am I super satisfied with the implementation? Hmm. I like the increased flexibility from this, but I didn't have to entirely change it to make that happen, did I? And I still need to re-implement the counts. Interesting. I'm not. I think I may have gone a bit too far with the termination thing. Like I went too far on this. I probably didn't have to go quite this far. I made that public, yeah, but should I have? Probably not. Let's roll back this a little bit. Let's roll back this a little bit. It's back to this. Let's kind of do that middle ground between the two. So about termination requested, I need to add the do that, trash that. Trash this. I got that. This should be replaced with uh, basically just this. Mm, that makes sense to me. I'll need the static. Track on star for this menu. And it's a boolean. So about that. See, this is what it could be. I need the array again.
Okay. Deregister that. Okay. Termination requested. What about that? Hmm. That. Then we're going to go p state add UI. We're going to have this right about here. Add UI, we've got this, we're gonna add this no pointer and that render menu elements, that's fine, I know, I'm oh Back to here. Uh, happy little medium, a bit, a bit more code. I mean, it's about the same amount of total code, by the way. But this is a more C plus plus class in style. I think I can probably live with this. So, state and state. Did I have even use the map? No, I didn't. But I did use string. These are fine because I'm just, I don't have I'm not exporting the whole class. I'm just exporting certain functions. So that's still fine for the moment. Oh, I need to fix the state. Grabbing the counting these other items. So if If that We do this, okay. Mm. 
Close it up. Yep. Minus, 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 minus. Okay. File, edit, view, help. There should not be anything to actually go in the editor help. So what I want to do is, first of all, make sure it's actually rendering them, and then I'm going to shut them off. Help's got nothing, view's got stuff, edit's got nothing. Okay, good. Now, if... If m help menu count is greater than zero, and that okay, that doesn't. Yeah, it's going to be a bit ugly. So everything should turn off except for the file menu, which would make sense right now. And yes, it does. Okay, we're getting closer. Bit more red on this. Whatever. Whatever. main menu sets items okay put that in okay so that's something let's start just rolling through the rest of these it's got terminations let's kind of add that for application let's get resource list should make sense to my mind Okay, view main menu, we got that, 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 okay. So same kind of deal going on here. Termination, whoops, resource list. This will add at least one editor thing, which is what I need. Let's 
um, deregister it. We want to have that. We want to have that so edit or view edit let's just put it under edit for now or view hmm put it under view yeah that makes sense so we'll have these two This, we're going to pass it in this. Mm, is there something here? Yes, there is. Static void render custom UI. Same kind of deal, we'll need both of these, so. Uh, that we have menus dot, okay. menus dot size, okay. Remove them. Okay. Let's add these. View main menu it needs to be after this. Like that. I'll put these here in between. data okay, true. Well, we would want to return this doesn't return anything yet though that's not great like how does how do we do these appearance and editor layout I'm not even sure how these are kind of laid out really mm. no that would make sense these are the items that are all here these are I don't know how but there is some rhyme or reason so this would be like one class render something same thing with this undo redo same Class would be handling both of these. Different one for that. Yeah, okay, I can see how this works. Uh, let me grab a drink. It's been an hour and 16. BRB. Okay. 
Uh, back. Uh, what was, I was doing this, yes. Render menu elements, render custom UI, so P, there we go. custom UI, that. Is there anything else? Not really. So this is what, the resource list. Let's go to the application. Let's get that changed over. Wait, where would this even be? All right, here we go. It'd be down here. So about that. Register UI with Android state. Do we need to return something? We need to return that. Great. That's currently void. That's not good. So let's just return view. Okay, views back on the menu. There's a resource, right? Yeah. Okay, that allows me to drop this. That means I can drop this. Uh, I've got what a vector, that's it. It's virtual. That. Bool. So this becomes that. So we can do this instead. Ah, you know what? Just kind of leave it like that. Bool. Return this. Okay. I don't know what's with the uh, number 16. Hmm. Uh, okay, like how much bigger is this? I mean, we did add some stuff. So we added what? Uh, 40 odd lines, 42 lines. For what? Much of anything at all, really? Hmm. Mm, okay. Let's do the same thing for mm, entity list. Scrap that. Do 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 do. Yeah, that goes away. No, then become, no longer becomes that. No virtual, no virtual. That becomes a boolean. We add these to static functions. Okay. Source side. Kind of 
go to this function because it's basically almost the same. Same as that, same that, render menu, same as this, that. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. We add these items. Simulation I am GUI group data that was sitting somewhere else. Okay, anything else around here I can do? Developer console, yes, I can do this. Hmm. that I'll get to uh, moving developer console around later this becomes a boolean I also want to have these static items okay when okay register render render okay around here I don't know how this would ever return false Same thing here, right? Nope, I didn't. I was missing a couple of those. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I didn't want, want all of that. Dev console register UI, okay, great. Oh. That's a really terrible console still. What else we got down here? Frame time info. Okay. That's actually first.
Oops, I included the wrong thing, am I? didn't I? No, I was on the right track. Time info. Bring some of this stuff over. Resource list. Do 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 do. Same thing basically again. So we're getting this, but this doesn't seem to have view main menu. Oh, it's supposed to be Boolean. Camera is something else entirely. Armature state is something else. Register of interest state. Okay, so that's all the items in here. So for application, close others. Close these. Window info comes from WSI. Hmm. This is where I actually ran into the actual issue, wasn't it? Like inside of here, inside of I'm GUI, I had to, what? I had to export the whole class. So I, yes, I was running into export issues right here. I had to export the whole class so I has the V table information. That's what spurred this whole thing on in the first place. So yes, I do. See, I was having doubts whether I wanted to actually carry on with this because it seemed kind of janky down here. But this is, a spe this is a special case because this is integrated into the final application. When it's outside the final application, you start running into this nonsense, especially in shared uh, library environments. Where this other pattern will become more useful and more stable. Especially once you start getting things built on different compilers or different... SDKs in the back, especially if you want to keep things nice and easily moddable. And by moddable, I mean actually modifiable. So, uh, this is the point where we lose this. We don't need to do this anymore. We can add that. We can add that. Instead, we get rid of that. We struct oh yeah I'm doing state. There's probably a bit more I can work with. Like I can maybe pass the two f rather than hmm maybe. Maybe. I'll think of it later. For the moment, though. We have these, right? We have these registering and deregistering the UI. 
I'm thinking of another like iteration on this where I kind of get rid of the register and deregister UI, but I'm not quite there yet. Export that, export that. Get rid of that one. Okay. Okay, that would be the last thing I'd actually have to convert over. The rest of them don't actually rely on the I'm GUI base. So I finish, yeah, okay. Finish this, finish that one. So window HPP, go to the source, window CPP. We're gonna have out of developer console. We're gonna have render menu, register, okay. This. start with almost actually so it wouldn't be like window it'd be like display I think on a new menu but not quite yet under keyboard UI render mouse UI create add window remove window this is a boolean now. This returns true. Custom UI, okay. We do this right here. That. state Actually, how many keys can I do? U, one, two, three. Okay, it depends on the row. So it, yeah, it does depend on the row. It's not a US, not a fancy keyboard. Uh, I'm going state. Okay, great. So that's that. That's that. So this one is get rid of that. That's private, so that's fine. Right, and we got to go through, what was the last one? It was ah, this thing. Wait, why did this not export the class? I don't understand. Um, must have been something. Must be something else going on. Whatever.
So this is all in the view menu. This turns into a boolean and returns true. Nope. Close up, and there we go. Uh, back time GUI base where is this used now state base state state okay we're done with this we can get rid of this so converted um Okay, we got all rid of all those, we close that, we close this, then we can scrap base, scrap base. We get rid of base. State, we get rid of that. We scrap these. Okay, we get rid of this, this is gone entirely. Go back down to state, base is gone, these functions are gone. Mm, running the UI, this one is gone. That's gone. It's gone, these ones, this is gone. Anything I'm missing? Still including it in a few other locations. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. I need to redo tests for it.
question. Star view context. I mean, it doesn't. I'm actually not using this stuff, so whatever. Sure. Let's start the menu name. change the name or something. Nothing fails. That requires false, which is true. This will also require false. One V and test stream. Okay. no harm. Okay. Adding the same element fails. So if we can add, let's say, test um, context bar. That succeeds. And then we'd have two, and then the third one. Real unique. So we got this, we will no pointer, no pointer. We'll have that under custom UI, great. With different um, So doing the same things again. We've got those. We do basically the same thing, but with this. These all succeed. Great. We're trying any of these other ones. Requires false.
I didn't do anything. Menu function. Okay, we got those. Okay, uh, removing the first item. Doesn't look like it worked. Can't actually run, call run UI because that's just going to fail horribly. Oh no. Um, hmm. I don't know if the strings will be recreated from the same thing or if they'll be all generated in the function. So it's best I don't really check on them. But then that... That's as best as I'm going to do. I'm going to hope to God that people aren't going to do the wrong thing, which is a terrible thing. But I'm going to roll with it anyways. Space test that running UI calls for all the sub. But I do run the UI. Interesting. Ah, okay. 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 Um. All right, fine.
So what I'm going to do is what? Call count equals what? I want to do something special like if So we're going to have an array of, uh, we'll put that later, uh, int char const star, we'll put it one, two, three, four. Otherwise, return false. Okay, we got an interesting thing. And then we can. So, what I want to do int call count equals zero. I want to do test state, wherever that is, dot. What am I going to do? Yeah, add UI and call count menu function. I really want to do called custom. On that, require call count equals what? One, two, three, four. Test. Uh, there we go. That's the one that fails. I'm GUI test. Perfect. Interesting. It just never ran it.
That's true. Okay, that's false. Yeah, that makes sense. Custom goes one. Yeah. But that does. That's returning false because it's just not rendering anything, I guess. So we have a bad context or something. So, yeah, this doesn't really matter then. It just haven't given it like a rendering context, so it doesn't actually work right now, which I guess makes sense. So that's gone, that's gone, that's added. Bunch well, removed a bunch of stuff, added that warning, like that. Do that's gone, like that. Bunch of oh, changes to this, so yep, fix that up on the last one. that just under two hours uh, is there anything else do I want to do the next iteration that I was thinking of what do I want to because this is this is a bit awkward this is a bit awkward this is quite awkward I'm not entirely on board with this for the moment But, you know, for the moment, I'll actually kind of, I'm fighting myself. Do I want to fix it now or later? You know what? I'll just save it there. Two hours. I'll be happy with that. So I'll call it there for now. I'll do some other C++ inheritance thing tomorrow, which will probably be along the lines of dealing with something in here. Probably, uh, yes, the resources or the systems. Yeah, probably stuff like this. I need to deal with this. Not entirely sure how, but I'll deal with it somehow. Cheers.